so the couch stretch uh, stretches mainly the quads and the hip flexors, bit of the lower back as well. Uh, so when you're first starting out, the top of the foot, the shin and the knee are to be placed as close to the wall as you can, ideally touching. The front foot is roughly stacked on top of the front knee. Uh, bring your back as close to the wall as possible whilst keeping the spine straight, hips driven forwards and glutes engaged. You want the hands to not be touching the body, but when you're first starting out, the hands can rest on the knees, hips or thighs, but you must keep the spine straight. Level two, so top of the foot is resting on the wall. Uh, the knee and the shin are off the wall, but closer to the wall is better than further away. So squeeze the butt, drive the hips forward and try to bring the spine um, and the top of the head to the wall. You can have the hands resting on something in front of you, like an elevated surface or some P-bars in uh, my case, or you can have them down by your side. Level three, slide the foot, uh, and that's the front foot, as far forwards as you can, aiming to keep, uh, to keep it straight with the foot flexed up. Uh, with the back leg, you want to drive the hips forward, squeeze the butt, and keep the spine as upright as you can. You also want to keep the hips square, so don't trace or track the front leg out to the side. Keep it straight and front on. If you lack the mobility, you won't be able to completely stretch the uh, front leg out, um, as well as get the spine upright.